it's like a movie sequel. It's like Transformers and then like Transformers 2 and then by the time you get to the third one you're like, okay, please just stop. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I am super excited. Greasy fam, unite because we are trying out the IT Cosmetics oil-free matte CC cream. I have this, I'm gonna compare it to the OG and the matte. We're gonna try this on, we're gonna test it out and see how we feel. Is this even worth buying? Okay, I'm gonna get my hair out of my face and I'll get started. So this one is the new IT Cosmetics oil-free CC plus um, matte poreless finish. And right off the bat, these look so, oh my gosh, these look so much different color-wise. You see that? You see how much darker and warmer that looks? I have a feeling it's because this has oxidized a little bit over time. Anyway, this is scary because it looks a lot lighter than this and they're both light. This long term over the course of the day is kind of a problem. I just get really freaking oily. Let's just do it. I have my really gross, embarrassing, dirty beauty blender, but there's a little clean area I'm gonna use for the new product and then the dirty product has this on it already, so. We'll do one side with this and one side with that and then we'll just go from there. Starting with the regular. Okay, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but you can already see, I'm looking in the viewfinder, I apologize for that. But you can already see that this side of my face is a lot shinier than this side. On to the next one. I'm really scared for this because it looks light, but I'm just, I'm scared about the texture and I'm scared of what the product will look like on the skin. So let's test it out and see if it's any good. So I'm trying to guess if I can even tell a difference. This one still is giving me shine, so I wouldn't even call it fully, it doesn't look fully matte. We'll wear this and see how oily it gets. I'm gonna go do my makeup, just kind of get ready in general. I don't know, comment below and let me know if you can see any kind of difference between the two sides of my face. Personally, I don't see a huge difference. If you look hard enough, this side is a little bit, the silver side is a little bit shinier than the blue side. Okay, your girl is back. By the way, on my lip, I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the color Trendsetter. And I'm giving away, it's included in this set, it's one of the full size products, so if you haven't entered my giveaway, shameless plug, I will put that video right here and in the description. So go check that out, enter my giveaway. I'm wearing the silver one on this side and the oil-free matte, so the OG one on this side and the oil-free matte on this side. Sorry to disappoint you, but so I did my makeup like I always do and I just, all I do is set my T-zone with just a teeny bit of powder. So really nothing extra. I haven't put powder all over my face. Um, and honestly, I don't see a huge difference between the two. I know I love this already and this looks like it's performing similarly. You can see this side is just as greasy as this side. And, and that could just be my skin. I mean, I think if you have a little less oily skin, maybe it would be more obvious but I don't even think that right off the bat the finish was that discernibly different. I'm trying really hard to find differences here. They are so similar. The texture is similar. Everything is just similar. Overall, it'll just have to be a draw because I really don't see a difference. I mean, I think if you have this and it's not killing you, I wouldn't go for this. I see enough of a difference and I have oily enough skin to where if I didn't have either of these, I would definitely purchase this. And considering that I purchased this already, um, I will definitely keep it and use it, um, but honestly, I don't think that there's any huge difference except a slightly matter finish. As someone with oily skin, I would have loved to really, really fall for this product, but it really isn't anything that I find to be outstanding or really set itself apart from this that much. I just think the formulas were so similar, they performed so similarly, and they look the same on me. I mean, they truly, the finish, the oiliness, I mean, my face wasn't greasy when I applied it, and it's literally the same amount of greasy on both sides. The finishes are really the same. The hopes I had for this didn't really come through. But they're both $38 each. The only difference between these are the fact that this one is supposed to be matte, which I don't think it is. This is the OG, and this one's SPF 50 versus 40. It is the Sephora VIB sale right now, so this would have been my recommendation if I liked it more, but I would just go with the OG. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I'll see you next time.